All right, welcome back. This is the last episode on installing Unilights on a Viper Jet. Uh, these took a while to get. Normally, they only take a couple days, but uh, these took almost three weeks. Uh, it did help get held up in customs because they opened it and there was new tape on the box. So, it is what it is. Um, so, if you want afterburners on the uh, Viper Jet, this is what you have to get. Uh, you need to make sure this ring here has an X next to it because if it doesn't, they come with uh, big old heat sinks hanging off of it. And uh, this this set here does not. Uh, that's what these holes are here. They hang heat sinks out. And you don't need it because um, there's plenty of airflow going around this. So um, let's talk about the uh, mounting ring, what you got to do to that to... Uh, get it adapted. Uh, this is the normal uh, mounting ring that I send out in the kit and um, the little hole or the little cut out there is for you know to clear the rivet on the tailpipe. So what you got to do is uh, you just got to cut some of these segments off here uh, to create some airflow and then you need to file a notch where this um, little uh, indentation is for these uh, for where they attach the, the solder links on the back of that okay so once you do that it fits in there like that everything's happy and then you gotta make a new little uh, recess for that rivet like I did there just stay away from the solder joint and then you uh, do a corresponding uh, recess in the uh, plywood part there so um everything works out real good and you know it slides on it's fairly tight and just like that and you make sure the solder joints are lined up there and you can actually just uh roughen up the back of this uh, unilite uh ring and you can just five minute epoxy it to the uh, plywood and it's fine. Um, now, if you already got the ring installed in the model, um, you can pop it out and um, you know do your modifications and then you can actually put it in here because once the tailpipe's in there, it's really hard to get it out without unscrewing the bell mouse. So you could squeeze this together a little bit here and then slide it in and kick it up. And uh, you move the tailpipe forward, take the engine out. Um, but this one here, this one's ready to go to a customer. Um, it's all installed. Let me shine a light down the front of it here. Oh, it's over here. So you can see there's still a lot of... Uh, A lot of uh, cooling air that can go around the um, the ring. Um, I got quite a few flights on mine with it. It seems to be working great. I mean, I love it because the visibility is great going away from you. And then I don't know if you can see it in here. The uh, the wires coming up from the uh, ring go. You know, they're not anywhere near in contact with the tailpipe. So. It's, it's been working out good. So I'll show you on this one over here. This one's ready to go to a customer. And uh, before the, um, so what I did here is I just bored a hole down uh, through the fuselage to accept the, uh, the wires. And then um, I just kind of burned in a little slot here for the wires to nestle in. And um, then on the horizontal, you got to cut I just burn that into a, a corresponding uh, slot in there so you know it just nestles on just like that I mean it works out great then you can run the wires all the way up and uh, I don't have the controller in this one but the controller is going to go right here I'll show you on that model over there so um, it's really no big no big thing uh, installing the wiring and all that it's pretty much straightforward you do have to cut the end off to get it to fit through this hole or you make a big hole um, and just solder on the end once you get it run and then let's talk about the controller here um, 
This this is the uh, let's see which one. This is the afterburner controller. This is the uh, controller for the uh, the normal Unilite. So I just Y them together. An XT60 plug. So one uh, two cell two thousand milliamp lipo runs all the lights in the model. Okay. So on the uh, normal Unilites, this plugs into the actual channel for the lights. So you can work it with a switch and shut them on and off. On this one here, you want to really um, tie it into the throttle because the more you raise the throttle, they, the quicker the blink or the more intense they get. It's however you've got it set. So what I do here is I just put on a, a Y harness here this, this plugs into the throttle channel on the receiver, and the other uh, lead here, uh, the, the turbine, plugs into that. Um, so, you know, no big issue. You could plug this directly into the receiver and then just have another channel slave to that, but I'm out of channels, so uh, this has been working fine. Um, so, you know, one battery runs everything, and um, with a 2,000... Uh, milliamp pack you can get uh, about four flights they do use a lot of current other than that uh, that's pretty much going to wrap up oh let me show you where i mount that controller so i mounted the uh the um, afterburner controller down here um just one plug on it and the only thing you really need to get to is this uh button here if you want to change the settings uh, on the uh, the controller. Other than that, it's it's very straightforward. Um, okay, so I hope you uh, enjoyed watching the uh, series on Unilites. Um, I really enjoy them. It makes makes flying the model a lot nicer. Um, so here's once again here's the list of all the lights on the uh, Viper Jet. Make sure you order the X. On the afterburner rain, um, are you going to get those um, heat sinks hanging off? Oh, and one other thing I meant to tell you is they, um, these like, it's like a little plastic insulator. It hangs over the ring just a little bit. And you got to file these down ever so slightly to get it to fit around the, um, um, the outer diameter of this pipe here. So, you know, as you can see, you know, I mean, it's just a very small amount. You don't want to get anywhere near the light. Just, just a very a few thousands on each one is all it takes. And uh, just to get it to slide. Because you don't really want to glue this solid to the, um, the pipe because, you know, everything's always expanding and contracting. You know, let it float. But uh, it, I think it's a perfect fit. Okay, well, thanks for watching.